Hey, what's up mga bubuyog? Your math beast friend is back for another video at bilang continuation ng ating basic algebraic differentiation ay pag-uusapan naman natin ngayon ang tungkol sa higher derivatives. So ayun nga, ano nga ba tong higher derivatives? ba diba guys, remember, higher, kapag kumukuha tayo ng derivative, no? for example, yung unang derivative ay dy over dx. Yan. So kapag nakuha na natin yung first na derivative, Meron tayong tinatawag na higher derivatives. Meron tayong second derivative, third derivative, fourth derivative. ba? Diba? First derivative is pwede natin i-denote yan na y prime, ba? Diba? Yung second derivative is kung ano yung y prime na yan, yan yung kukunin ulit natin yung derivative ng sagot nito, yun na yung, yun na yung second derivative, okay? So para mas explain sa inyan, ide, gawa, mag-solve ta ng isang problem, no? Bali, yung gagawin natin is kukunin lang na muna natin yung second derivative. No? Kasi uh, medyo mahaba-haba na yan kapag lahat na yung derivative kukunin natin. Kunin muna natin. So, yung problem dito, uh, find the second derivative. No? So, first, hanapin muna natin kung ano yung first derivative. So, first derivative dito guys, eh, y prime. So, kung mapapansin nyo, gagamitan ng general power formula. no So, yung 2 magiging coefficient. So, ito magiging x squared plus x plus 1. 2 minus 1, that's basically equal to 1. Huwag na natin ilagay yung exponent. Tapos, kunin na natin yung derivative ng loob. So, ito ano yung derivative nito? That would be equal to 2x plus 1. Yung derivative ng constant is 0, kaya huwag na natin ilagay yan. No? So, ito yung first derivative natin. Now, kunin naman natin yung second derivative. So, para kunin yung second derivative, ito yung gagamitin ulit natin. Now, meron tayong constant dito na 2. Ilabas lang natin yan para hindi tayo magulo, no? Tapos meron tayo dito yung x squared plus x plus 1 times 2x plus 1. In that way, pwede na natin gamitin yung product, yung derivative of product. Kasi di ba product yung dalawang to? So, isang tabi lang muna natin yung 2, no? So, ilagay natin yan. So, derivative of product, yun nga. Kunin muna natin yung derivative nito. So, that's gonna be 2x plus 1. Tapos, i-multiply natin yung partner niya. 2x plus 1. Plus, now next, yung kabila naman, kunin naman natin yung derivative ng 2x plus 1. So, that's magiging 2. Sorry, ang pangit ng sulat. That's gonna be 2, di ba? 2, tapos, kasi yung 1 is derivative ng 1 is 0. So, hindi na kailangan. Deri tapos yun, kunin na, na tapos i-multiply na natin yung naunang to which is equal to x squared plus x plus 1. Okay, guys. So, ayun. Kung nahihirapan pa kayong gawin to na walang formula, mas magandang isulat nyo na muna yung formula tapos isolve nyo para mas maano nyo, para mas uh, mag-guide kayo. Siguro kung nalilito, ay assume, ay assume lang na baka nalilito kayo kung paano nakukuha yung mga to. Di ba kasi meron tayong formula na D, derivative of uv is equal yan sa u times derivative of v plus v times derivative of u. Dito po, dito po yung galing yung mga pinagsasabi ko ditong product rule, guys. Ay, yung product rule. Yung derivative of product. So, ayun, guys. Isisimplify na natin ngayon. So, kung mapapansin nyo, tingnan nyo muna kung meron, pwede, kung meron muna kayong pwedeng i-factor out na terms. Kung merong similar terms. Kung wala kayong makita pwedeng i-factor out na similar terms, the best thing to do is to uh, pag-multiply nyo sila para mapag-add nyo yung mga like terms, no? So, i-multiply nyo ito, parang squaring a binomial, so that's gonna be 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 plus, distribute natin yan, that's gonna be 2x squared plus 2x plus 2. In that way, we can add like terms. So, baba ko lang yan, guys. So, ayan, that's gonna be 2. 4x squared plus 2x squared is 6x squared plus 4x times 2x is, a uh, 4x plus uh, 2x is equal to 6x, and 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So, ayun guys, pwede nating i-distribute yung 2 sa loob. So, magiging 12x squared plus 12x plus 6. So, this can be your final answer, ladies and gentlemen. So, yun mga miss. So, ayun mga bis, kung ito yung first derivative, then this is the second derivative. So, ayun, kung sabing find the third derivative, ito ulit yung kunin mo ulit yung derivative niya. Alright? So, ayun lang guys, basically, yung mahirap dito, yung mahirap is kung paano mag-simplify. Para sa akin, yun yung mas mahirap, paano i-simplify. Pero kunin, 
pag kinukuha yung derivative, eh, madali na yun. Alright? So, okay guys, sa higher derivatives, merong ibang problem doon na sinasabing, find all the derivatives. Anong ibig sabihin nun? When we are tasked to find all the derivatives, ibig sabihin nun, derive ka lang ng derive hanggang sa point na wala na. Hanggang sa point na ayaw na niya at umalis na siya. <laughs> Char. Hanggang sa point na zero na yung derivative mo. So, continuous lang yan. Tuloy, kailangan tuloy first. Derivative second, derivative third, fourth, fifth. Hanggang sa point na yun nga, maging zero na yung derivative mo. So, let's say for example, we have the given here, y is equal to 10x squared plus uh, x, x cubed plus 9. So, try natin hanapin yung lahat ng derivatives nito. Alright, so simulan natin sa kanyang first derivative. Ang first derivative niyan, or the y prime, it would be equal to, parang gagamitin ng power rule dito, magiging 20x plus 3x squared. 9, cons derivative of constant is 0, kaya huwag natin ilagay ito. So this is your first derivative. Now, to find for the second derivative, i-derive ulit natin yung first derivative. So ito, magiging 20 na lang yan. Plus ito, 3 times 2, that's 6x raised to 1. Huwag na natin ilagay. So this is your second derivative. Now, hindi pa tayo tapos kasi nga yung goal natin hanggang maging 0 na. So the third derivative would be equal to the derivative of 20 is uh, 0. So huwag na natin ilagay. Derivative of 6x is 6. Okay? So i-derivative na natin. So kunin, ulit, kunin pa natin ulit yung derivative ng 6 kasi nga kailangan hanggang maging 0. Yan. So magiging y. Yung fourth derivative niyan would be equal to the derivative of 6 which is equal to 0 kasi constant siya. So, ito yung first derivative, the second derivative, the fourth, the third derivative, and the fourth derivative. So, ganun yung way kung paano kunin yung all the derivatives. Well, I'm giving only a, a medyo simpleng example dito para mas mabilis nyong mag-gets. Pero, when we are already finding the derivative ng mga komplikado, medyo mahahaba yung solution nun. So, it really takes practice and practice and practice hanggang sa ma-perfect nyo yan, guys. So, that's it mga bis. Kung may natutunan kayo, please like, share, and subscribe. And kung may mga nakita kayong mga mali-mali sa mga kinawa ko, eh, feel free to comment down below at itatry natin yung itama. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye, mga bis.